I want to actually talk more about you being a super mom. Super mom. Hi. <laughs> We're at Palma Web Engineering. Yeah. This is your first time? This is my first time at the conference and yeah, it's cool. I want to actually talk more about you being a super mom. You're a single mom, you have two kids and you managed to come to an event, you managed to have a job. Would you work remotely? Yes. So I'd be interested to hear more about how you manage your, your time around that. I mean, just talk about a, a typical day or week for you. A typical day? Uh, I mean, it's all about organization. Organize yourself and organize everyone around you. And yeah, I get up early in the morning, obviously, and uh, I wake up the kids and bring them to school and kindergarten. And then I start uh, working. And um, during lunchtime, um, one of my kids coming home, and you know, we talk about the day and maybe about homework, and then I get back to work. And uh, after, in the afternoon, I pick up my little one from kindergarten, and then so depending on the workload, I have to work a little afterwards as well. And then, um, yeah, and then I try to get the, um, their activities in as well because they're you know, doing horse riding and they have sports and they have their friends, and yeah, it's all about organizing, and um, it's pretty tough. And, my day starts at like 6.30 in the morning and it ends at 8.30 in the evening and then <laughs> I have some time for me afterwards. <laughs> That's a long day. It is a long day but it's okay, it's, um, it's nice and um, I really enjoy working remote because then I actually have the time for my kids and see them a lot more and um, talk to them and um, get to know what they did the, uh, over the day. And it's really nice, it's a good idea. Absolutely, you get to save so much time on, on the commuting and the stress of commuting in addition to the, the time and there's the cost as well involved. Um, so that, that's great and I guess the kids get to see you more and it's about quality of life as well as quality of work. Absolutely. So that's really good. And so at home, do you have a, a little space that you have your kind of your computer, your desk and that's your kind of work area? I have my own room where I can close the door and you know um, concentrate on my work and um, yeah, that's, uh, you definitely need it, otherwise it wouldn't work. If you have everything around you, have the kids around you, then you probably wouldn't be able to concentrate on anything. <laughs> so, so they don't help yet then? <laughs> have they started cooking you breakfast and dinner, not yet? Yeah, no, um, I mean, um, sometimes, you know, you just um, uh, check on emails and uh, while they are doing their homework. But uh, most of the time I just get back into my room and then concentrate on my stuff and um, they're outside. <laughs> now, when do you find time for the gym? Most times in the morning, you know, after I brought them to um, school or to kindergarten, then I just take a half an hour to um, uh, do some running, to do some jogging or cycling. No, but that sounds really good. It sounds like you've got a good, well balanced with family, you know, health, and because I'm terrible when it comes to the health, the amount of times. So I, I put a gym in in the house so I could try and save time. But the amount of times I go up to the gym and I'll take my laptop with me because I just want to write one more message, uh, and uh, I'll end up just sitting on the end of the treadmill. Yeah an hour later and I'm still like I haven't started I'm still on the computer it's like the biggest mistake ever you should put a big sign like computer free zone or something I like that computer free zone I need to and after you know seeing your guns yesterday uh, I am starting tomorrow in the gym I'll ask you next year when we see you at the uh, unconference and see you out for you. <laughs> Definitely. Don't even wait next year. One week. I want to say I've been at least three times. I need to get better. You put us First all to shame. It helps you when you stay a little bit more uh, healthy and it helps you to get back to your work and concentrate a little bit longer. Um, I think you need that. You need to do that for yourself. People are more open-minded, you know, they're more easygoing and it's a lot easier to get into talk and to talk with them, get to, uh, to conversation. And, um, are you going to come back next year? Definitely, yeah. We're already planning on uh, staying here maybe a few more days nice. so that we can actually enjoy the island a little longer. 